Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Hyrule Warriors. But it's not the Age of Calamity anymore, it's the Age of Peace. It's not really an official name, but that's what I'm just going to be calling it from now on. So, to start off, we have quite a lot of side quests on our map to do, and a few challenges. Let's get started on them. Search Party for Parts. You miss Terrico, hoping to bring your friend back. You form a search party to find repair parts. First, find something to help get things off on the right foot. With preparations completed, the search party set off with Gusto. So much so, they immediately found parts that might revive Terrico. We got Terrico Component, parts with a special shape that have been found ac all across Hyrule. These can be used as Guardian parts. They also look like they could be used to re repair Terrico. The Eye That Sees Far. An old man in Dea Village is said to be so knowledgeable. It's like he has all-seeing powers. Give him something rare or otherworldly. He'll tell you the location of which of that which you seek. <laughs> Impressive. When you visited the place that the Dea Village Elder told you about, you found parts that might be just what you need. Maybe the mysterious fellow truly does see all. Let's have a look at some other um, side quests while we're here. We're probably going to have to do a bit of grinding for all of the stuff we need. The Lonely Goddess. A goddess statue stands alone on an isle in a colour. People have vowed to build a village around the sad, solitary Terry statue. There must be something you can do to help them. With houses built, the new village celebrates with a festival. The goddess statue at the heart of it all seems to smile upon the found, uh, founding of this new community. Everyone gets three extra hearts. And our Carlos levels up. Get some tireless frogs. Now, there's not a lot we can do in here, but there is a few things. Rebuilding a color bridge. There's a proposal to repair a color bridge which was devastated in the battle with the Calamity. In this time of peace, all need to do their part. As for you, find money and materials. Amazing. With everyone's help, plus your money and resources, repairs to the bridge have started. It will take time to fully restore the flow of travelers, but it's great to see the bridge rising up. Discount on East Tyrol 10%. The instructor's problem. The instructor at the military training camp forgot some crucial materials at the top of Woodland Tower. This threatens to ruin his day, get him what he's left up there. <laughs> the instructor was able to finish his work easily. Due to what you brought him, he has developed a new method of training and is willing to teach it to you and in thanks for your help. Tales of the Molten Forge A Goron knows of a blacksmith f from ancient Goron history who forged weapons in Death Mountain's flames. He wants to learn that lost art, but needs materials for working with fire. Well done, my friend. The Goron failed to rediscover that ancient art of smithing, but said he got closer in his research due to what you brought him in thanks he taught you a Goron smithing technique. Increase the chance of great success in fusing. Fuel up with plants. The researcher with a ravenous with a with a ravenous appetite has recalibrated her eating habits. Preferring to fuel up with plants and vegetables. Help her find some uh, palatable produce. The researcher enjoyed what you brought, 
for her recalibrated meals. She soon had her Eric <laughs> Eureka moment and found a way to make the Sheikah sensor more powerful still. We can now increase the amount of things we can track now, so how many can we track? Since there are quite a few things that we need to we can do up to ten now. That's really good. The legendary blacksmith. You learn uh, that a legendary blacksmith is in the castle dungeon. When you ask him how to make weapons stronger, he asks for proof of your skill with weapons first. Show him you are worthy. You're the blacksmith revealed that he jailed himself, fearing his weapons were too deadly. After he saw the measure of you, uh, he's willing to share his technique for making weapons their best. The lazy guards. Merchants can't cross the uh, dig dog suspension bridge with confidence. Its guards are always slacking. Give the guards a reason to care and bring them uh, some rare gifts. Oh. Your gifts put some pep back in the guard's step. So they're keeping the dig dog suspension bridge safe. The merchants are no longer refusing to travel across it. Great news. There must be rice. The researcher heading up the stasis um, upgrade project hasn't eaten his favorite rice in weeks and progress has slowed to a crawl as a result. For science's sake, get the man his rice. You did well. With the bowl of honey and rice in his system, the researcher was his old peppy self again. He and his team made a series of discoveries, a lot among them a way of strengthening stasis, reduce time between stasis uses. Very nice. Now I'm going to mark this as something to look at because I think doing that will be really good. Let's buy some of those. We definitely need a lot more. How many we need? I think it's like 35, so we're going to have to do a few other things. That's fine. Road to Rust Research. The Blacksmith Guild is sure they can improve the rust removal method more and want to, st to study rock octorocks in hot locations for a long time. Get them what they need for this expedition. Good going. The Blacksmith split up for their rock octorock expedition and went to Death Mountain and Gerudo Desert. With the new research, they were able to improve the... Uh, de-rusting method more. Increase strength of de-rusted weapons. That's probably really good. Zappy and Bouncy. Researchers are experimenting with ways to enhance magnesis. They think electricity char electrically charged monster parts in particularly in particular might make the ability more effective. Bring them some. A commendable achievement. After a few false starts, the scientists finally figured out a way to amplify magnesis. It isn't clear if the materials you provided actually helped, but at any rate, they're, you're glad they pulled it off. Magnesis time, re recharge time is shortened. The Master Chef. You've met a talented chef who has cooked for years at Hyrule Castle. He's bent on mastering a culinary creation and has asked you to buy him lots of ingredients. Need a hundred mighty bananas for this. Good thing I didn't sell them all. Bravo. Superb. The chef brought bought the ingredients he needed to master the dish and paid you more than the standard price. But mastery is elusive. If you collect more ingredients, he'll pay you for them. So now we can keep using this to get a thousand rupees every time we get a hundred mighty bananas. So that's probably a good thing to look at. I'm gonna have a look at a few more of those if I can find them. I saw a few, so I should be able to find them. There's one over here. A painter's inspiration. A painter traveling all over Hyrule can't seem to do justice to a, uh, to a theme that's near and dear to him. Bring his frustrated artist materials to aspire, inspire his work. work. The painter drew inspiration from the materials you gave him, and he's creating artistic works once more. 
Now he will trade you a gift in thanks whenever you bring him more materials. So now we can trade for Luminous Stone. I don't think that's as important as everything else, but it's definitely a thing. Now, anything else? Research of a lifetime. A traveler you met on your way back from traveling is uh, thoroughly absorbed by his research. Give him the materials he needs, then he'll give you what uh, he need. He picked up during his travels. Lots of moblin parts. You get the Master Koga seal of approval. The Traveler said he's researching a subject that's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and he hopes to elevate people's lives with his work. He will trade you for materials he finds useful. We get two giant ancient cores every time we give him 50 of these uh, ha moblin horns and fangs, and also 20 moblin guts. Now I think that's all of the leaf icons on the map, probably. So, let's actually have a look at other things we can do now. Hyrule's Greatest Warrior. Restricted allies. No healing items up here. Time limited. Recommended level 63 and we can't be Link. So, I guess we'll just take Zelda into this and see what happens. Splintered worlds, when Terrico, pursued by Ganon's malice, arrived from the future, a new world was born. Yeah, we did kind of break the timeline a little bit. Let's go. Hyrule's greatest warrior. Defeat Ravali. Think you stand a chance against me? Ha! Huh. Allow me to bring you back to reality. Okay then, let's defeat Rivali, and then there's two other enemies we have to fight. But that's not all, because there's definitely four main enemies on the, on the quest marker, so... There's definitely more than meets the eye. Ow, that's annoying. Can't even use stasis on him when he does that. It's difficult to dodge his attacks, unfortunately. Nice dodge. Ow. Bad dodge. Just don't do that. I think the time is going to be the biggest problem here. Other than the fact that I can't hit him. And he keeps hitting me and I can't dodge. It's just annoying. Wow, we're actually almost at the 30 health points. 30 hearts. I guess it's a little bit more than 30, because each one is 4. Ow. That's so annoying. I want to hit him, but he keeps moving so much. Oh, Fly Rush by jumping through his arrow. I'm okay with that. Fly Rush again. I really have to take you out, Ravali. Ow. Okay, that kind of dodged. Not as much as I would like, but that's fine. I can still heal, that's good to know. That means I can also use my rods. Which means Ravali is going to be in a little bit trouble, of trouble here. Ow. We play Smash. I definitely need to use my rods now. Let's burn you. Please attack more. Nice. Maybe in stasis? No, that's not gonna work. That's not good, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good. Ow. Oh my gosh, again, really? Again? What is happening? What is happening? Oh my goodness, he's just repeating the same move over and over.
Oh yeah, I forgot. I also have my special form. Just gonna do that a whole lot. Hopefully actually hit him. Ow, let me put that away. Please. Thank you. Ow. Stasis. Maybe actually hit him a little bit more. Thank you. Oh my goodness, really? Fly Rush, that works for me. I don't know how. It's so close, it's so close. Really, 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 really. Come on, we point smash, there we go. Finally onto the second enemy. But I suppose I'll have I'll have to accept this defeat for now. Master Koga has appeared. Defeat Master Koga. He's actually spawned in more enemies for me, that's good. This has got to be a cinch written all over it. With him spawning more enemies, that means I can build up my special a lot more, luckily. So that's not good for him, but it's definitely good for me. No oh, ice, please, no. That's unfortunate. Back up a little bit. I really need to win this. Definitely a lot easier than Ravali. Ravali's just nuts with his attacks and trying to dodge him. Okay, Magnesis, take that. Please, 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 no. Okay then, but I'm almost there. Oh, please, 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 please. Thank you, weak point smash. Okay, that wasn't quite enough. Let's use our special. Hopefully we don't need it in the next fight. Okay, go, 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 go. Nope, that's not good. Oh my goodness, he's on a bomb. That works. Please, half the time limit remains. Come on. Almost. Okay, we point smash. There we go. Oh, oof. Crayonis, that one. Come on. Come on. So close now. He's almost defeated. It's so close. Fly rush somehow, okay, weak point smash. And this next enemy is probably gonna be Link. Wow, where are my mini minions when I need them? We have four minutes. Link has appeared. Stasis. This is probably not the best character to be using for Stasis, unfortunately. Also, this Link is different because he's wearing the hero's clothes, not the champion's tunic. Okay, please, thank you, weak point smash. Oh... Crayonis, thank you. Stasis. Go. Go, 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 go. Almost. Okay, we're going to smash. We're doing alright. We have three more minutes left, so we've pretty much got this. Here's a special. Here we go. Well, where is he? There. He's really not good at hitting me for some reason. I just need to dodge around him and then I'm fine. Ow. Okay, Flurry Rush. Now he's actually hitting me. 
Fly Rush again, and Weak Point Smash. Don't think it's over yet, but we're getting close. Oh, Stasis. Why? That was, that should have hit him. Why did that not hit him? It's not like there's anything else to get focused on. Please be on the ground, Zelda. Ow. That hurt. Come on. Ow. Oh, stay, 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 stay. Oh, my goodness. Just shoot that out. We have two minutes left, but he's almost done, except he's doing really good now. For some reason. He wasn't before, but now he is. Oh, eat. Oh, do I have not... Do I have not food anymore? I don't have food anymore. I am in trouble. Strike lightning. And weak point smash. If I level up, that'd be great, but I don't think I'm... Oh, my goodness. I don't know what just happened, but it's okay. It's not over yet. What's left? Harbinger Ganon. Okay. Well, we know how to fight you, and there's no time limit now. So you're in a lot of trouble. It's a shame I couldn't bring Link into this, because otherwise you'd be even more in trouble. Oh, stasis. Oh my goodness, why? Oh, dodge. Back up. Flurry rush, then Q. And weak point smash. There we go. Let's use our special. Just like that. Maybe in stasis you again. And then go crazy. Please, 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 please. No. That's a shame. Oh, never mind. I got it. Good. Weak point smash. Looks like we're in a pretty good position. Let's use our special again. And this should be pretty much done. There we go. Everyone, that was incredible. We succeeded. Yay! Hooray for everyone that fought in that battle against all of the enemies. And we got the Cap of the Wild, the Tunic of the Wild, and the Trousers of the Wild. But that is it for this episode, so thank you all for watching, and I'm gonna be overthrown by the tutorials. Okay, Blood Moon Battlefields. The hour of the Blood Moon. It, it is then that Calamity Ganon's power waxes fully. Stronger enemies await in these extremely grueling battles. Do you dare challenge them? So basically, previous battles that we've gone to before can have... Um... Blood Moons now. Which means they're going to be a lot stronger. And I don't really know if that's actually changing much else. Other than it just being harder. But anyway, that is it for so. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.